do you uh, want to sip with me? Absolutely, I do. Perfect. <laughs> That's the start of the video. Hell yeah. <laughs> I should preface the video. Our audio equipment is not great. We were recording this together over Discord. I have my special guest. Her name is Alex. She is my best friend, and we are currently playing Danganronpa 2 together. I've already played it, but she is going in blind, and I'm joining her for the ride, and it has been an absolute blast. This was just us rambling for like an hour <laughs> about this character, um, and I've just kind of cut it down, trying to avoid some of the spoilery stuff. We don't need spoilers to convince you that Paco is amazing. Exactly. This is just our experience. Anyway, enjoy the video. Enjoy our ramblings. Why we love Peko Peko Yama, a documentary. Why Alex is ready to fight Kazuichi, part two. <laughs> because he called out Peko once, maybe twice, and Alex will never let it go. <laughs> he didn't apologize. He had no regrets, no guilt, no remorse. Oh my god, we're going down this road hole again. <laughs> you know what? A, a great way to start this video off is wishing Heko Peko Yama a very happy birthday, because we all know she deserves it. Happy birthday, Peko! <clears throat> okay, yeah. So I, I have a few things to say about Peko. Um, just for preface, just so you guys know a little bit about me. Um, if I had a choice right now, I would just scream for five minutes. That's the first thought that comes to mind when I think of Peko. Um, but more specifically, anyone who knows me knows that I have a bit of a, um, a history of simping for, um, I would say strong women. Uh, girls with swords, that's a big one. Um, and basically, if I see a girl who could kill me without hesitation, that's it. That's, I'm good. Anime sword ladies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. One of my favorite types of women. And They're who I want to be. Is, that is, in, it is. in this life and the next, that's who I want to be. One of my favorite character types is somebody who feels like they have such a hard exterior, but on the inside, they are such a softy. She's got that tough exterior, but inside she's just a big softie. She's just a little bean. Yo, super cool sword lady, absolutely sign me up. And then I did some of Peko's free time events, and I found out that she's the sweetest character ever. The whole thing about her wanting to just feel something soft, how could you not instantly fall in love with that? I cry about that on a daily basis. It's so cute, and you cannot help but you just- you want the best for her, you really do. And one of my favorite sprites- this is a bit- this is slightly off topic- one of my favorite sprites is the one where she- when she's trying so hard to- to genuinely smile, and she's like, <laughs> kind of weirded out by it. Yeah, it's, no, that sprite- that sprite deeply wounded me. It's so in my mind, and it just goes back to her being a little bit socially awkward. Which I, which I latch on to so much because I'm a socially awkward being. Yeah, I have not. I latch on to other socially awkward beads because I, I relate and I think it's so endearing. So it's also one of the- I want to be her friend. I want to be her friend, exactly. I will, I will just start talking about it. Pekka wears glasses. Glasses are just so cute on a character. And yeah, no, I don't have glasses because some of us are blessed with perfect vision. Um, however, stylistically, I think they look super cool. And if I knew how to draw them on a face, I would do it very often. Glasses are, are a barrier almost to who Ooh. she really is. Symbolism, people. That's Symbolism. We're getting, we're getting places. Look at this. That was really deep. I yeah. like that. I mean, I really like that. I can't even picture her without glasses. They just, they just suit her personality. They give her, you know, that a little bit of prestigiousness, but also like, ooh, a little suspicious. Like, what, what's up? What's going on behind those eyes, girl? 
Yeah, it made me made me think sometimes. I like to think that the glasses are there, one, because they make her look a little edgy. And well, I think that they help protect her eyes from the blood splatter when she's slicing people. That's so fair. Without getting super spoilery, Echo's character arc. It's a great character arc, um, definitely worth pursuing. And just the more you get to know her, the just she's just great. The more you get to know her, the more positive qualities you find. And I have a big thing for loyalty. Like, that's just one of my top priorities in terms of, like, friendships and relationships, any of that. And my girl Paco is as loyal as they get. And, you know, I wasn't, I didn't get that from her right off the bat. But after I got to know her, like, I realized how, I realized that we shared that priority. And it made me like her even more. It also broke my heart because I just want her to be happy and have a best friend so she can just feel that. It's wonderful because she has this hard shell, like I've been saying. But as you talk to her more, and believe me, we've done a lot of free time events with her, she opens up more and more with you. And that's such a special thing to witness with a character because you feel like you, you feel like you're you're there, you're helping them, and it, it's such an important feeling for me personally when I see that. Because they're breaking out of their shell, and that's and that's so important. And you just cannot help but feel proud of them for that. Heko had a very one-track mind pretty much all her life, and yeah. she never really had a lot of people there to help her break out of her shell. She's she's had to be very serious with her job and with her duty, quote unquote. Haha, <laughs> funny word. <laughs> yeah, and I just I love that she had like. She had such a hard life, and she went through so much, and she still came out of it a good person. Like, she didn't let it harden her. She didn't let it turn her into someone mean. Like, she... No, like, she was so good. Sad, but it's like a bittersweet sad, because you're proud of them for letting everything out and, like, truly sharing their feelings, which you know they've just never been able to do before. That's with that loyalty. She was loyal to herself, and she was loyal to her friend. And I respect that. Yeah, no, I mean, I completely agree. Regardless of whether or not the specifics of the character are, like, real, like, regardless, oh, it's a fictional character, the growth that she goes through is very real. And so are a lot of the struggles. So, like you said, it's just really, really rewarding to like slowly watch her kind of come out of her shell and get to the point where she's comfortable not only expressing her feelings, but acknowledging them. It's just really nice. Like, it, it's just, oh, like it hurts, but it's so necessary. So wonderful to see in a character. And I think that's one of the reasons I really came to love Pekko as a character. She was already cool. But when I finished the game, Pekka was was up there for me. I don't usually simp for soft characters. I'll be honest, when I started simping for her, I didn't think she was a soft character. Uh, but she she grew on me. She really has a special place in my heart now. And normally I don't let the softies in because I feel like they're pretty good at, you know, breaking your heart, which she definitely did. But it was worth it. So I can't even describe the emotions that I went through. Most of our interactions with her were just her showing us how hard she was trying to be happy. And that hurt, that shit, I, oh my God, that made me so sad. But like, it also made me more motivated to like want to be her friend and want to show her that she deserves good things. But yeah, I mean, what about you? Do you have any closing thoughts? Uh, girl pretty. Honestly, yeah, she's hot. That's it. That's what it boils down to. I mean, you know, personality, personality's great. But at the end of the day, she's hot and she has a sword. That girl pretty. Yes. I hope we didn't ramble too much. We, we were trying to be consistent, but often got off topic. 
It was such a blast recording with her. I hope to do more of this stuff in the future. Thank you. I had a blast. I will never pass up the opportunity to rant about my sword lady. I have commissions. I just opened them for the summer. You can see over on my Instagram. I'll leave a link below. Please DM me if you're interested or if you have any questions. And also I wanna plug my friend Alex who joined me here. She has an art Instagram and she's doing amazing art and I'm so, so, so proud of her. Once again, link below. Please go check it out, give her some support. She's awesome and she supports me every day. Well wishes, friends. I'm Hajim Kanata. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko Pekoyama. It is nice to meet you too. Ooh, ooh, I love her. I knew it. The second the second you Actually. saw her, I knew she would be like your favorite ever. <laughs>